it's here. I've just spent half an hour titting around trying to get this uh, phone clipped onto a washing stand. I've got a tripod upstairs, that would have been so much easier. Oh well, we are finally here. Finally have a frame, thanks to Megporium. Got my printed instructions, because I'm not in front of the computer for this bit. Um, and have all my rails, so I'm not going to do this in real time. If you want to see a real-time video of building a, a V1.8 frame. Nero has done a live stream on it a little while back. I'll put a link at the end of the video. This is going to be a speeded up version with just me stopping to tell you bits where I'm coming a cropper. First things first, lay out my rails. You don't need to see it. That wasn't meant to happen. So we're done. There's a tiny bit of wobble, and I do mean a tiny bit on the glass, but all my uh, diagonals are, you know, less than a mil out, which I'm told is about right. Um, he's pretty much flat on all sides, so I've tried wobbling on all sides. Can't put the feet on yet, because although the feet have turned up from China, yeah, guess what? Ain't got enough screws. Because I was only buying the one pack from Amazon at the price I paid. But like I say, it's allowed me to get a frame together, so hopefully the uh, next lot will turn up Monday. Okay, so just on the desk for a couple of bits that I found out during my build. I got my fasteners from GW Fasteners. Uh, all well and good, they've done the job, but they do come unlabeled, as you can see. So you may want something along the lines of this. I printed this out from, I think it was just from the Thingiverse, on my Ender 3, just change at layer height. Um, Chep's done a brilliant video on how to do it, which I'll link down in the description. So you can see it printed in yellow, changed the filament at layer height, and just printed the top in black. So that when you get a bag of unlabeled screws, it becomes an easy job of going, right, oh, yeah, that's an M5, because it won't fit in that one. Is it a 12? No, is it an 8? No, oh, yep, yeah, look, it's a 10. Very handy little gadget. Means I've got no excuse for the uh, random drawer full of screws that I seem to have laying around. Only other things I had problems with was this little piece here. This is the Z end stop, so you take the gasket off one of your tooth idlers, shove it in there, put your tube through it, in goes your micro switch underneath and jobs are good. And first problem I had was trying to bend the pins so that they nicely fitted out of this way down here was I managed to snap not one but two pins off two different uh, direct, uh, micro switches. So just be a little bit careful of them when you're trying to keep it all nice and neat. The other thing to bear in mind with it is I've got a magnetic bed on mine, which means that I've got the same problem that quite a few people have had, that the spec little piece of metal that sticks in here, that the Z um, that your nozzle touches, was below the level of my bed by the time I've got my magnetic plate on. So I've actually designed another one of these and again, I'll put a link to it down below. 
probably on my GitHub because I know there's certain things around licenses that Voron and Thingiverse don't get on or something. Which is basically this exact part, and all I've done is just move these holes down a bit to give me another couple of mil of height. So this sits up a bit, and I've moved this rail obviously on the back that slides into your extrusion. You can't really see black on black on the camera but I've moved him and the holes down a bit so that they're just lower in the body so that this and then everything in him sits that little bit more uh, more proud so, so that's the mechanical build done like I say I've kind of not bored you with a blow by blow of it because to tell you the truth it's really well documented just follow the instructions one thing I did learn, follow them in order, because I was waiting for some parts because I misordered, basically. So I thought, oh, what can I get on with? Skipped a few pages ahead. Oh, I can put that there and I'll put these bits in afterwards and then had to disassemble things to re-put them in in the right way round. Uh, Nero's got some brilliant videos. I mean, he did one on how to affix your heat bed. Bottom and top sides the other day, which I was going to do a video on and he's beaten me to it, so no need and it's probably much better than I'd have done too. So I'm probably about to start filming a lot more footage now than I have done for the last few days because I'm going to move on to the electricals and I know that's the bit that's not as well documented especially for the V1.8. I've had a look today at the new V0.1 instructions and there's quite a bit in there around your electricals and your cable routing and all these things that uh, you're kind of left to work out whatever works for you on your 1.8 so I'll be following that but for now we've kind of got a printer sat next to me I've also built this shelf in the past this shelf uh, last weekend too to kind of house it because it's best part of half a meter squared it's it's quite a bulky beast to be fair it's probably not that much bigger than say my ender 3 because I've got my filament spool mounted on the side pointing outwards and you have to have your uh, your front back clearance for your bed slinger so but the usual build space is going to be much better but yeah it was a fun experience i enjoyed it but take your time make sure it's square follow the instructions and if you get stuck ask on discord bunch of really useful friendly people in there who will always point you in the right direction help you out um and you know, we'll happily take the mickey out of you if uh, that's your personality that uh, you join in with, like I do. But yeah, like I say, join the discords, read the instruction manuals, read it through once before you build it. Once again, to tick off to make sure you've got everything, because I was convinced I had, but I hadn't. And then read through it again, nice and slow, as you start your assembly. But for now, on to the electrics. <laughs> 